Hi everyone. Today we're talking about breathing. The first thing I want to say is that breathing on the flute is probably harder than on a lot of wind instruments because we don't have the back pressure that other wind instruments have from their mouthpieces and reeds and so we have to control our breaths in a more controlled way I suppose than, than they do. First of all, let's talk about how to breathe in deeply enough. Imagine your lungs are underneath your rib cage. Your rib cage stops about here and your lungs are inside there. So that's the bit that you want to be filling up. Now I'm, I'm deliberately wearing a sort of tightish t-shirt so that I can show you what I would like you to do, which is to try to breathe into these lower lobes of your lungs so that the, the rib cage actually expands outwards and you can actually feel the, rib, the ribs slightly separating. Now we can practice doing an exercise which actually expands just one side a little bit more than the other. And if you slightly um, bend to one side, that helps that side to expand. And really go as far as you can. Same on the other side. Try and breathe into this side. Okay. The other area is in here. Breathing forward so that from the side it comes out a bit. And lastly, breathing into your back, which also has part of your lungs in it. So this part. A good exercise for that is to sit on a flat chair, bend forward, leaning right onto your legs. You can really see the, the back expanding. Um, a thing to try is then breathing in. So I held my breath and could then feel how much I had expanded actually all round. So when you're breathing into your back um, with your legs stopping the front from breathing in, that's why the air has to go into your back. Some people say that you're meant to only breathe into your lower abdomen, but I think that's wrong for us flute players, so not into, just into here. Um, because, because, as you can imagine, if your lungs are here, then going isn't really going to use your lung capacity. So you really need to think of it as kind of a belt that, that it extends all the way around here. And really try to get as much air into there as possible. But also, don't think that breathing up here is the best place to breathe. Imagine your lungs are sort of the shape of a pear and the top part of that pear is up here. So breathing into this part of your chest won't really be very beneficial. So that kind of motion, which a lot of women do actually for natural breathing, isn't actually that um, very deep or very helpful. So you should practice taking these deep breaths whenever you can. This doesn't mean that every single breath you take when you play the flute should be the deepest possible, but it is a good habit to get into to be able to take these deep breaths because every so often you come across a piece of music where you, have, you really haven't got many opportunities to breathe and you need to have that fitness of breathing ready so that you can really employ it when you need. You'll find that um, you get quite hot if you breathe well um, because it's quite an energetic thing so it's great in a way playing the flute warms you up. The next thing I'm going to talk about is how to practice holding your breath inside your lungs for as long as possible whilst blowing out so like blowing a, a note on the flute so, 
take your nice deep breath into all of these areas. And now hold it and start blowing out through your lips whilst deflating, first of all, here, underneath the ribs. And finally, you can breathe out. While you're blowing that long note, or that long breath, the idea is to try and keep your ribs expanded for as long as you possibly can. At the very end, of course you have to contract them just to get that very last bit of, bit of air out, but before that, keep them expanded for as long as you possibly can. And you can use the muscles that are between your ribs, um, the intercostal muscles, they're sort of here, and they can actively be used to keep your rib cage expanded. So you just keep it big, I'm doing it now, until you choose to deflate it. <sighs> okay? That's something that not very many people can do in the world. There's not much cause for it. Um, if these muscles start feeling a bit painful, these areas, you can do a bit of self-massage like I'm doing now, which is actually quite helpful to loosen those muscles up and, and the fibrous tissue that's also attached to the muscles. Okay, so just find a pair of ribs and go in between them with your fingers and just m massage along there. It can feel quite painful while you're doing it. But once you've done it, you'll find that um, you can then take a breath better than before, hopefully. Lastly, just talking about the act of inhaling through your mouth, it's great if you can give your air the best chance of getting into your lungs. So if you try and breathe in through a small hole here, you won't have as good chance as so practice taking your breaths through a kind of, it's like a yawn sort of mouth. That way you can maximise the amount of air that falls in 